Hi, Kip Columbus Elementary families. I hope you're all doing well. Excited to share some updates and reminders for the week of April 27th with all of you. We'll be closing out the month of April together and looking ahead into May, the last month of our 2019-2020 school year. To start, as always, a huge thank you to you. You as our families are absolutely our most valuable partners. We could not do this work without you. And again, we know that you also are continuing to balance and juggle so many things between school and home while you're at home with your families. If there's any way that we can be supporting, please, please, please reach out. We are all in this together. Some highlights from last week. First was our neighborhood parade through our Linden neighborhood. We had so many teachers come out. You can see some examples of our cars decorated. Maybe you saw the picture shared in the dispatch newspaper, but we're excited to hopefully plan another parade through another one of our neighborhoods in the coming weeks so that we can see more of our Kipsters and families. Stay tuned for more information about that. We also continued just to have some great moments on Google Meet and through Google Classroom with so many of our Kipsters last week. So you can see a picture of some of the one-on-one -on -one tutoring that's continuing, as well as some of the live Learning Links classes that are happening. If you have any questions about the live class schedule or about how your Kipster can be getting additional support with our teachers through Google Meet, or Go Guardian, please don't hesitate to reach out. We are here to support and absolutely committed to doing whatever we can to ensure your child is continuing to learn during this period of closure. Some updates going into this week. So as a reminder, on Monday, we will continue to have food distribution on campus for anyone in the community. Come by anytime between 7 a.m. and noon, and we'll be there and excited to see you. This food distribution will be continuing at least through August, so more to come on that, but please know and plan that the food distribution at KIPP will continue into the summer months this year. As a reminder, if you're unable to make it to campus, either because of transportation or if you're considered an essential worker, please either email us at the address here, kipoffice at kipcolumbus.org, or call the phone number listed here so that we can help provide other arrangements. As another update, our KIPP Columbus team has put together an emergency response fund. So we are all in this together, and this is a way to be able to support families with critical needs at this time, whether that's housing, food insecurity, transportation, or other items. Please reach out to our team through the link in the letter on the KCO website. As a reminder, kipcolumbus.org has a whole section around COVID-19 updates. You can see learning updates listed here for KCE, our family resource guides, and then all the letters from Hannah Powell, our executive director. If you click here, you'll be able to get more information. And please reach out to our team if you have any sort of need that we can provide support for through the KIPP Columbus Emergency Response Fund. Also, feel free to reach out to me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. As a reminder, our last day of school is May 29th. So we will be continuing remote learning through Google Classroom right up until the last day of school, May 29th. And it is our expectation that all students are engaged in learning opportunities as best they can be during this time. We still have a whole month of school and this learning time is so, so important for our Kipsters to be sure that they're as prepared and ready as possible for next school year. Again, if you have any questions about Google Classroom or how to get additional tutoring or one-on-one -on -one time with your child's teacher, please reach out at any time and we will be happy to set this up. In terms of technology support, we know that with the closure being longer, there are growing technology needs. So we have put together a computer repair program. Again, if you go on our website and you click the link for tech support, you can fill out this request shown here and a member of our technology support team will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for your patience as we work through these tech repair needs. And again, also feel free to reach out to your child's teacher or to me at any time. Coming up this week, 
As we wrap up the month of April, we're really excited for our Inspire Assemblies on Friday. So on Friday, each grade level will be hosting April Inspire Assemblies to recognize Kipsters who have been showing our Inspire values and going above and beyond, even during this period of remote closure. Please look at Class Dojo and Google Classroom for grade specific details about time. We will be recording these events as well to be able to share them with families and Kipsters who aren't able to tune in during these live times. But again, so excited to celebrate our Kipsters and their hard work during April Inspire Assemblies on Friday, May 1st. And then last, Teacher Appreciation Week is coming up. So the following week, starting May 4th, is Teacher Appreciation Week. We love our teachers and we know you do too and want to make sure they feel extra appreciated during this time. Please check your dojo messages. I will be sending some messages next week about Teacher Appreciation Week that our teachers are not able to see, so it's a surprise. Again, please check your dojo messages and reach out to me with any questions. Thank you again for your partnership, for your support, for your love of our team and family. We are one team and one family and looking forward to a great last week of April together. If you have any questions, reach out and we'll see you soon. Lots of love.